As part of the shepherd lesson, I did want to look at one thing in the wilderness that will maybe surprise you a bit. Believe it or not, this is called wilderness, midbar, but it's also called green pastures. Now, when you take a Westerner here the first time and you look at this, you find people say, well, I don't know that I can go there because the Psalm 23, the Lord leads me into green pastures has been pictured as belly deep alfalfa. Well, you haven't seen any belly deep alfalfa. And from biblical time to today, it's rare to see a flock in the farm country. There isn't a lot of farm country in this culture. And so farmers kept the shepherds out as much as they could. Maybe they would come in a little bit after the harvest to glean what was left, but you don't want sheep where you can farm. This is the land of the shepherd. Right on the hillside across from us, you can see those grazing trails cut there by sheep maybe as long ago as Abraham's time. They're spaced so that an animal on one path and an animal on another can reach right to the middle between them. That determines the distance, so you can graze an entire hillside. And the shepherds lead their sheep across that hillside slowly, grazing what's there. Now, you look at it from here and you say, what's there? In fact, I remember my first impression. I woke up one morning, I was sleeping out in the wilderness, and I remember waking up, watching a flock of sheep on a hillside like this, and my, re my feeling was, what are those rock-eating sheep? I mean, what do they eat? How can you call this green pastures? Well, the answer is, there's a small amount of moisture present here. They get a little bit of rain every year. Not much, but a little. Second, there is humidity in the air, especially in the evening breeze, like right now, you can feel it. Coming from the west off the Mediterranean, there's moisture in the air. That moisture, combination of the rain and the humidity, condenses or drips along the edge of these rocks here. And if you notice, right around the rocks, almost always next to the rocks, you get little tufts of green. Get one a moment. That's what we refer to as the green pastures. So the shepherd looks for a hillside. That's exactly what she was doing. Look at that flock across from us there, just stunning. Those two shepherd girls have found a hillside that either was exposed to the wind or had that small amount of rain. And they move that flock across the hillside and it's one mouthful here, walk a step or two, another mouthful, another mouthful, another mouthful. Now that changes the green pasture image a little bit besides the picture changing radically. Green pastures are not everything you need for the rest of your life. If you make that belly deep alfalfa, then what God is saying, if you follow me, I'm going to plunk you down and you'll never have to move an inch the rest of your life. Just reach out and grab it. Tell me that your life with God has been like that. Worry, said one rabbi, is dealing with tomorrow's problems on today's pasture. In the desert, you learn, the shepherd will get you what you need for right now. Ten minutes from now, you trust the shepherd just enough.